بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو انوینٹری مینجمنٹ پورٹل دس از علی رضا اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو اباؤٹ سم آف دا ماڈیفیکیشنز ان دا سائز ونڈو دیٹ وی ہیو کریٹیڈ سو لیٹس لیٹس اسٹارٹ اینڈ ہیو اے لک واٹ وی ہیو ٹوڈے اور رائٹ گائز سو ٹوڈے آئی ایم وانٹیڈ ٹو ڈرا یور اٹینشن آن دس سائز مینجمنٹ پیج یو مائٹ ہیو نوٹس دیٹ آئی ہیو ایڈیڈ دس کیٹیگری ہیئر اینڈ وین آئی واز کلکنگ آن دا ویو بٹن سو اٹس شوز می دیٹ ایرر so i how can we tackle that let me show you that so let's go to the mysql and you see here uh, we have the stored procedure that is st underscore get sizes uh, if i open this stored procedure you notice here that i have uh, do i have done that change here i have passed category id as a parameter in the where clause so basically this uh, due to this reason Uh, the overall sizes along with the categories are not loading here okay for that purpose what we have to do we have to create a uh, normal get sizes uh, stored procedure so that we can get the sizes along with their categories okay so let's try to create a new stored procedure for that purpose let's um, zoom it and here we can specify delimiter forward slash forward slash forward slash forward slash delimiter and then semicolon and then create procedure and then we have to write the name of the stored procedure that is st underscore get all sizes and I, i am changing the name but there are no parameters at this point begin and end and then we have to write the select uh, statement from sizes because it is link it is linked with the category so we have to apply inner join so inner join with the categories c and on the common columns that is um, c dot id is equals to s dot category id now what i can do i can simply specify my columns um, here so select what i wanted to select i wanted to select the size dot id as size id then i wanted to select size dot name as size and then i wanted to select the category id so s dot category id as category id and then i wanted to select the s sorry c dot category name as category okay so this is how we can get the categories uh, and the sizes okay so let's uh, try to execute this stored procedure uh, first of all copy this for future use and go so you see the commands completed successfully my procedure name is get all sizes now let's copy this and come here inside this uh, size window that's my size crude here and go to the line here okay where i am calling this that's my size crude guys you notice here you, you see this size crude dot php inside the size crude php we have the retrieve function and inside the retrieve function i'm going to put my new stored procedure that is get all sizes instead of that one okay now the other thing is uh, when we load this uh, the data is coming inside a table data okay or or inside a table so you see here we don't have actually a raw inside this so first of all we have to add the raw that is tr in this case and we have to close the row so let's copy this and after this td um we have to specify another echo that would be tr close now <coughs> the first column that we are receiving here is the id so we have the id in the radio button okay and then we have the second column as the size name let me show you that again so you see the first name is the size id and then the size name then we need the category id and the category let's go back and try to pass the category id and the category name size id size name and then we need to copy this and paste it and here we have to pass the category id that i want i don't want to show the category id so uh, we have to make them hidden okay this column uh, we have to make hidden so instead of this uh, let's specify the category name that is on the third column 
okay i don't want to show the category id okay uh, now that's fine so save this and now let's try to execute this page so when we go to sizes and when you click on view so you see we have now uh, things coming but uh, the the proper uh, column names are not there also you see the categories shirt 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 are also coming and then and their names respectively now what i wanted to do i wanted to give the headings so let's go and specify a th again let's copy this one because that, that's blank copy and paste so we need to oh sorry uh, mistakenly i have select where was my retrieve um, okay at this point inside the retrieve function and i have to paste this um, after after the heading that is this point and paste and now uh, the name is category and here we should make them small or uh, you can say the size okay now that's fine and then the category two headings and the third heading should be of the action so copy and paste okay and here we can write actions and save now let's go back to the browser and refresh the page and view so you see now the categories are there that's and the other things are there okay now let's try to color the things so we have the edit button first of all so let's make this button primary okay that's primary already and then this button should be btn uh, info okay and save let's try to check what's the output you see that the color has been changed and one more thing that i have to provide here is the space and the space okay now that's not the button primary that's button warning okay so btn warning and save and then come here and then click on the view button you see a space is there and okay so one more thing that i have to do is on the update button instead of info let's write here success okay and save so a little change in the ui will give you better results okay now that's fine uh, now the other things that we have to change here inside this lecture that is the purchase invoice also okay let's try to check every okay let's go first on the purchase invoice so you see we have this button coming so what we can do we can when we click on this you see the error message is there you can put this error message on the uh, right beside the add item button and you can push this button on the left so let's go to the purchase invoice uh, dot php and the button is at this point so let me show you that that's my button and the button is inside the division so let's remove this offset and make it call 6 and see what's the result come here and add item sorry refresh this page so you see now we have the button on the left and we have to show the error message also so what we can do but it's not giving me a good um, ui so let's make it three and check and the offset should be um, three not three it's uh, six and save and then come here and then refresh okay six is more than enough so offset five let's check now and refresh still we need to go back and offset four and save come here and check okay now that's in the center uh, one more thing that we have to specify is the error label so we can put the error label uh, after this okay after this input uh, message oh, sorry button so my error label is this let's cut cut this label and put it inside this one and see what's the output of this okay now let's check this out what's the output so we have the label coming but not in a good format so 
these are the variations that you can perform with your uh, stuff. So, let us make it back to the original position. Now, that is fine. Okay. So, uh, these are some modifications, but the basic modification of today's lecture is this uh, the view, but the problem is still with the edit mode. When we click on the edit, you see again the it shows me the error. So, I have to change that out. So, what I have to do when we try to click on the edit button, let us go and inside the size crude and go to the retrieve for edit. So, you see in the retrieve for edit, we have the same method. So, instead of this, we have to call this stored procedure inside the uh, retrieve for edit okay, and save. Now, let us come back and click on the view button and now click on the large and then click on the edit. So, you see we have everything, but there is the raw missing. So, let us come here and provide the raw that is eco tr and tr close at the bottom. So, after this td, you have to close the tr like this and similarly in this also in the else, we have to pass the tr as a raw and td as raw finish sorry tr as raw finish. Now, let us check this out. Uh, okay, So, view and edit. So, you see now we have this one, but still uh, the certain columns are missing. So, I want this category to be loaded here. All the categories I want to load inside the drop down inside this. So, what I can do? I have to specify another query for execution. So, what I can do? I can use the load list function inside this. So, for that purpose uh, inside the TD, let me create another TD after this. I have to call TD again and TD close and let us go to the TH, copy this TH and paste it here, give the name size and then category and then actions same columns now and then here we have created a separate td and inside this td what i have to do i have to call records so how can i get the records from or you can say the drop down first of all let's split this td and apply semicolon and write here echo for separate line okay now inside this td what i have to do i have to apply a php script but that's we have already this php script so what we can do we can simply include um, load list inside this size screwed so load list dot php you see we have this load list somewhere inside let us check the name of the page so file open and we have the load list here okay so, let us open this. Inside this load list, we have the stored procedure, but we have not passed any uh, you can say the parameter. Okay. So, we do not need parameters at all. So, let us uh, try to call this lo uh, load list inside our sizes. So, here I have included the load list dot php and now what I can do, I can simply utilize the connection also. So, but let us check first on the same connection at this point. So, the function name is load sorry get list. Okay, you see the get list function and now it asks me for the procedure. So, the procedure name is uh, let us go and what I wanted to show here, I wanted to show the categories. Okay. So, let us go to the MySQL and get categories. Let us pick up get categories. So, that is my stored procedure, it is not asking me anything. So, let us come here and paste it, get categories and now it has asked me the control name. So, the control name, let us say category drop down and then we have to pass the connection that is uh, dollar con and then semicolon. So, uh, inside this TD, uh, let me show you where I have done that. Okay, that's retrieve for edit. If it matched, then do this, and 
the TD that I have created is I think I have skipped that let me remove this TD first okay that's TD is clo that TD is closed now input type equal to text name after the name we are getting the categories inside the TD so I have to open TD here and then this TD should close at this point okay and then we have the buttons okay so let's check what's the output of this preview in chrome okay sizes view large edit so it said that cannot redeclare okay it is previously declared so let's try to remove this uh, load list because it's already inside let's save and now check so view large edit now we have things but for category we have we have the problem that uh, that uh, expects one parameter to be mysqli so it's on line number seven okay let's go back and check what's the problem so if we pass another connection here okay so let's go to the connection.php because there sometimes this connection gets uh, gives us trouble so open and connection let's try to copy this and paste this below but this time this is my connection 2 but everything remains the same now let's pass inside the uh, sizes page con2 so let's make global dollar con2 okay now i have two connections so this time i am passing the connection number 2 because we have already we are already inside first connection now let's check so view large edit so it's, it still give me the warning uh, of uh, this get categories and get list and the connection is the problem okay let us try to uh, do another thing let's go back to the connection.php remove this connection from here and save come here and create the connection inside this so uh, paste that's my con2 now remove this and then save and then come here and pass the con2 now let's check what's the output so view large edit okay now it's still saying me the error all right guys so just remove the code that we have written here okay inside this td i wanted to load the categories for that purpose let me show you some of the previous work that we have done we see you we, you know that we have created the get roles.php that's the function okay so can we create this function as a global function for that purpose what i can do i can simply write here get data instead of get roles and then instead of this procedure we can change it to the procedure that I, that we will get okay from the user so let's try it here the connection first and then the procedure so procedure name is proc so whatever the procedure that we will pass it will pass to this okay call the procedure and the connection is the connection that we will pass and then instead of this select role we can specify choose dot 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 so that it becomes general and then we have to make this so this type of this type of stuff we have already done let me show you that let just uh, ignore this we have done where we have created the load list so you see the procedure the control name and the connection so whatever the name of the control and the connection and the things we have already done this okay get list is the function so what we have to do we have to call this get list function inside our uh, you can say the function uh, sorry inside the uh, sizes window but here the problem is when we are when i'm going to do this let me first separate this pro uh, with the help of the double quotes and semicolon and then echo so i have separated the two 
now inside this i have to call the get list okay get list that's my function my procedure name was st underscore categories let us go and copy that here we don't have any uh, id oh sorry parameter so st underscore categories and remove this again i'm trying to do this and then the control name uh, will become my category drop down and then the last thing that i have to pass here is the connection so the problem here with this is connection is not getting with us so what i have done i have created a new connection with the name con2 and i'm going to pass this connection here dollar con2 that's my new connection and then save this should work but it was not working let us try it again preview in chrome sizes view large and edit so you see it shows me an error with respect to this maybe this is because when we go on the load list it gets the connection already okay so we have to remove this connection from here and let's check whether it is working or not so just come here and refresh view large edit so you see now the things are working fine but because i have changed this uh, i have removed that line so wherever we have called that we have to verify that whether there it is working or not so where we have called let's go back and uh, check inside the uh, you can say where we go where we should go All right so ins inside the purchase invoice you see the things are working perfectly so you see when i select shirt sizes are coming and so on so that's the thing that we have to modify here and now when we done the change we have to do this here inside also uh, after the for for the updation when we go to the update part let's go to the update part here inside the update we get the id of the size and what we are going to update we are going to take the size name we are going to take the category id so the update is there but we are passing three things let's try to check whether it is working or not the update part so size view large edit and i wanted to make it large one and then update so you see when we have updated and view so it is not updated rather it was not displayed to so we have to do the same as well so let's go back to the update um when we are clicking on the review for uh, retrieve for edit we get the records and then we when we are clicking on the update button so the data was not coming so st underscore update sizes let's go to the sql and correct that update sizes here okay so we have these three things so we are going to update the size we are going to update the category id and we are going to update the uh, with respect to the size id so the procedure uh, seems fine so let's go and see what's the problem here then okay we have the category id from the category drop down we have the name and we have the size id here as well okay so the let's check the order first we have your name size id and category id and in this we have the name then size id and then the category id so these things are also fine and then we have the arr that is our array update sizes the problem is with the round brackets and save and let's try to check this okay now sizes view large edit one and yes we i haven't select the category uh, when when i was updating so let's make it uh, t-shirt and update okay so it says that uh, there is a problem with the syntax uh, you see here the large one is in single quotes the ids are also in single quotes maybe that's the issue let's check it out so let's go to the sql and copy this and come here and st underscore update sizes call st underscore update sizes and then we have to paste this make it large and then semicolon so let's check this 
whether it is working or not copy and go so you see the query is working the query is working in a correct order let's go and check the sizes we have inside the size tables so you see large one is there and the category id is changed okay so that means that we have some issues at this point okay now because we ha we have done this uh, things correct so these round brackets should not come here that was the checking part because these round brackets i am already passing with this uh, inside this function insert update delete okay so hopefully uh, let's check it now whether it is working or not so uh, preview in chrome and then we have to click on the sizes and then view i have changed to back to the large and shirt let's edit and make it large one let's say and choose the category to t-shirt and update so you see large one updated successfully and it is working now so that was the little amendment uh, we have to do inside today's lecture so please do this by yourself also and uh, uh, do not try to copy my code instead use your mind and use your names and use your logic uh, if you want to succeed thank you so much take care allah office